simple short question and conceptual short question so today we will solve question number 11 to 15 in part 3 now in part 3 question number 11 as a conceptual question is every oscillatory motion simple harmonic motion give an example first of all we write that no it is not necessary for every oscillatory motion to be a simple harmonic motion since all restoring force are not proportional to the displacement well for a simple harmonic motion of the following two condition must be satisfied so in first condition the acceleration of vibrating body is directly proportional to the displacement and directed towards the main position so a is directly proportional to minus x and second condition the restoring force is proportional to the displacement and it is directed towards the main position f is directly proportional to minus x these two conditions show that body in a simple harmonic motion are performing shm otherwise body is not in a simple harmonic motion so for example we can see that motion of simple pendulum and mass coupling system both are oscillatory and simple harmonic motion in other example we can see that earth are revolving around the sun a bouncing ball are the example of oscillatory motion but not a simple harmonic motion in question number 12 we can see that for a particle with simple harmonic motion at what point the motion does the velocity attain the maximum magnitude and also the minimum magnitude so first of all for a particle executing simple harmonic motion as such am its total energy at any instant of time is constant that is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy remain constant at every point so we can explain that when the particle at a mean position the kinetic energy is maximum so these condition show that the velocity of particle will be maximum when the kinetic energy will be maximum so velocity will be maximum and in other condition at a extreme position the particle comes to rest due to the restoring force it move to backward therefore at a extreme position kinetic energy is zero so at this position velocity of particle will be minimum or approximately equal to zero so in question number 13 if the restoring force on a mass attached to a spring in a simple harmonic motion ever zero if so where so we can explain that yes the restoring force in simple harmonic motion shm become zero at a mean position now explain that according to the hooke's law we have f is equal to minus kx now at a x dis displacement of a vibrating body so at a mean position x is equal to 0 now at a mean position we have x is equal to 0 so the equation one becomes f is equal to minus k into 0 zero multiply by any number or any constant then it will be zero so the given force f is equal to zero now a 
equation to show that restoring force is zero at a mean position. Now, in question number 14, we can see that if we shorten the length of the simple pendulum to be a half, its original length, what is the effect on its time period and frequency? First of all, we know that the time period of simple pendulum is given by T is equal to 2 pi L over G square root. Put the value according to given condition, length is half. So L is equal to L by 2 put in this equation. Then the length will be decreased to half. So the time period T prime is equal to 2 pi L over 2 divided by G whole square root. So T prime is equal to 1 over 2 square root common from this side. So that is equal to 2 pi L over G square root. Then this value is equal to the time period of T. So T prime is equal to 1 upon 2 square root into T. This equation shows that the time period will be decreases by the factor of 1 upon 2 square root when the length of the string becomes half. Now we can find the frequency. The frequency of simple pendulum is the reciprocal of time period. So the formula is given by F is equal to 1 upon T that is equal to F is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into G over L square root. Now, according to given condition, length will be half L is equal to L by 2. Put in this equation, when length is decreases to half, so we get F prime is equal to 1 over 2 pi G over L divided by 2 whole square root. Third ratio is multiplied and taking the common, then F prime is equal to 2 square root into 1 upon 2 pi G over L square root. Now, this value is the value of frequency, then F prime is equal to 2 square root multiplied by F. So, the equation shows that the frequency will be increased by the factor of 2 square root when the length of the string becomes half. Today, last question, question number 15, a thin rope hangs with the dark high tower, so the upper end is not visible. How the length of the rope becomes determined? Now, it is very simple method to find the length. Now, we have tried that to determine the length of rope, we attach a stone at the lower end of the rope. So this arrangement becomes like a simple pendulum. According to the simple pendulum, the time period of simple pendulum T is equal to 2 pi L over G square root. Now taking square on both sides, then T square is equal to 4 pi square L over G. We can find the length G is multiplied on other side and 4 pi square will be divided. So L is equal to G T square divided by 4 pi square. Now we can set into the vibration and note the time period of simple pendulum of the one vibration which give the time period. So we can calculate the length of pendulum. Put the value of G and T, then we have above equation, find the length of rope can be calculated. Best of luck with next lesson and next remaining question in part 4.